of Love Connection. Let's meet another woman who chose a date from our video library. She likes to play French horn, paint eggs. She says that she may never settle down. Please welcome Jennifer Ball. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, because uh, Jennifer, I said again, because Jennifer was here once before. But she didn't have a very good date, did you? No. So we thought we'd give it another try. Thank Let you have you. another go at That's it. Okay. Nice. Now, what makes you think that you'll never settle down, Jennifer? Oh, men have a hard time accepting my personality, I think. Younger men. Older men like me a lot, though. Older oh. men and me are like this, I think. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that badly. They just, no, I didn't. they like my personality that maybe younger men get threatened by or they don't believe that it's real or something. Yeah. How old how old men do you think they have to be? How old do men have to be? Well, honestly, you want me to say, well, yeah, like sure. 50 or 60? Well, <laughs> really kind of older bracket then. Well, I do see some that are a little bit older. You seem to be a very open person. I am. I'm compulsively intimate. Compulsively intimate? What does that mean, compulsively intimate? It means I'll tell anybody anything about myself. <laughs> I have, I just lay all the cards out on the table, you know, and they either like me or they don't. They can pick whichever card right. fills their hand. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, I'd just like to stay out here and talk to you all okay. night. We don't have time. <laughs> okay. We're going to take a look at the portion of the tapes that Jennifer saw this time. Now, don't forget you're going to vote again. First, there was Anthony. Now, Anthony's from Chicago. He smokes cigars. And here are his thoughts on the single scene. Nobody in the single scene today, nobody wants to get married. It's all common law. It's like doing your laundry. You get, you get tired of a partner, and then you can just, like, throw in a shirt away. You can just get a new one. You know, it's like a rotation. Okay, and next there was Mark. Mark's from Cleveland, and he enjoys public speaking and politics. And we asked him if he considers himself a ladies' man. Um, I don't like to use the word ladies' man. I, I like to uh, classify myself as someone who gets along with females as well. At least I try to. Um, and I guess a lot of it is because I, I usually put them first. If, it's, if I'm going to take the time to be with a female, I usually then put them first. Okay, and finally you watch Michael. Now, Michael's from Maryland. He likes to ski, and he's uh, been a big brother for about 10 years, and he only dates one woman at a time, he says. I prefer to be... Uh, with one girl and get to know her and, and uh, uh, experience her life and what she does and what she enjoys and it's vice versa. Uh, you can't do that if you meet one girl and then go to another girl and then go to another girl. And before you know it, you're calling one girl another name and things just don't mess up. Okay. Before we find out who Jennifer chose as her date, let's see all three men once again, okay? First there was Anthony. He's a 26-year-old car salesman, and Mark, he's a law student, he's also 26. Finally, Michael, he works as a meat cutter, and Michael's 29. Okay, audience, it's time to vote again. Who do you think's the best man for Jennifer? Please make your choice right now. I can't wait to see. <laughs> the audience has made its choice. Let's find out who Jennifer picked. Okay, Jennifer, who'd you choose? Mark George. Pick Mark George. Tell you. I know you're anxious to tell us what happened on your date and everything, but we're out of time. Oh. We don't have time to hear about it. Can we hear about it tomorrow? Can sure. you come back and tell us then? Oh, sure. Good. Okay. Well, that's our show for today, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow to hear Jennifer's story and even more, and uh, try to put some singles together right here on Love Connection. I'm Chuck Woolery. We'll see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. on Love Connection will receive one of the following. Can a fragrance attract the opposite sex? Spray on Enron by Jovan and collect your own evidence. Or new Blades Thin Fresh Air Freshener. Continuous bathroom freshness plus an automatic burst of fragrance when you spin it. New Blades Spin Fresh. Or Wood Scent Pledge for a clearly more beautiful natural shine. A fresh natural fragrance too. Wood Scent Pledge for all your wood furniture. Or Capri Bubbling Bath Oil. A little vacation from every day. Where fragrant bubbles soothe your spirit and silken water softens your skin.
This is Rod Roddy, speaking for Loud Connection. Hey, French fry lovers. Are you For me. Try it. The book and the call are free. So call this toll-free number now. This is Michelle Lee. Afternoons are great here on 10. This is Jennifer. Yesterday, she told us which of these three men she picked as her date. Today, we'll meet that man and find out what happened on their date. And this is Trudy. She was married for 33 years, and she's been single for about a year and a half. Which of these men did she choose? Which will our audience choose? Today on Love Connection, you'll find out who they pick, who the audience picks, and everything that happened on their dates. Now, here to tell us more about Love Connection is our host, Chuck Willow. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome to Love Connection, where we've got a new way for singles to meet, and here's how it works. Now, we've compiled a videotape library of more than a thousand attractive and available single people. We select some of those singles and show them three videotapes. They choose the one that they're most attracted to, and they go out on a date. Then they come here and they tell us what happened on their date. Now, to begin with, we're going to meet a woman who selected a date from our video library. She says she works hard at being frivolous, and she never tries to be mean or bitter. Please welcome Jennifer Ball. Yesterday, you told us that you weren't sure that you'd ever get married. Ever. Why are, why are you... I'm not very faithful, really. <laughs> so I would have to marry somebody that could understand that. Why do you find it very difficult to be faithful? Um, I just like a lot of people. Not a lot, that's misleading. I would say like maybe a handful. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm selective. It's not to say that I'm not selective, that's but... That's good to know. <laughs> Let me bring everybody up to date with what happened yesterday, okay? Okay. All right, now we, uh, we showed the audience Jennifer's three choices, and they voted on which one they thought would be best for her. First, there was Anthony. He's a 26-year-old car salesman. And Mark, he's a law student. He's also 26. Finally, Michael, he works as a meat cutter, and he's 29. Okay, the audience vote was recorded yesterday, and we'll get to that later. But right now, I'm going to ask Jennifer, uh, why don't you remind us who you chose? Mark George. Mark. Yeah. Okay. Mark now. What connection? We get both sides of the story, and we ask a couple not to speak to each other after their date. Mark's backstage, so let's say hello to Mark George. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hello, Jennifer. How did you like your date with uh, Jennifer, Mark? I liked it a lot. It was a lot of fun. Was it? Yeah. How, how did it start? Well, it was quite a surprise because at first we had some funny uh, phone calls of I didn't say who I was when I first called her and I was asking these really interesting questions like I knew a lot about her and she couldn't figure out who it was and she was about to hang up on me before I, I thought it was she... obscene phone call <laughs> what's going to happen on your date Jennifer well I thought I'd send him on a treasure hunt to find me so I took this picture of me and cut it up and so I like put this part of me on the first clue then I raced over to the library and then this part of me was at the library with the next clue and then the next clue was my nose and that was at um, this bowling alley and then and he had to find it third ball from the right and I think that he had a hard time finding it. Did you have any problem figuring out the clues? Well the bowling alley was the only place. Uh, I loved the way she had it up because everything rhymed. It was very poetic. But the bowling alley threw me. God, I can't believe she's taking me to eat here. There was like a little coffee shop and bowling alley. What am I dressed to do? Finally found her, though. Yeah. Finally found her. We, uh, uh, the last clue was to meet her at the Santa Monica Pier. So I drove up to the pier, and there were three guys keeping her company who didn't look really too desirable. And I pulled up. I felt like I was a, a knight who was saving her or something. Thank <laughs> she, you. She... <laughs> Okay, Jennifer, tell us more. Well, I had champagne and two wine glasses and these three transients, and they wanted to drink. <laughs> and then um, he called, he wanted to go to, um, what was the name of the place? Well, we wanted to make sure we could get uh, seafood, and I told, let's try and stay by the beach, so I called up the manager at Gladstones and said, keep the place open. 
He goes, why? And the kitchen was going to close in two minutes. And I said, listen, we were on a we're part of a TV program. Try and keep the kitchen open. I made the order over the phone to just, because uh, I knew what I wanted. See, a politician, and they're real good at that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get in there and make it right, work. Right, yeah. right. So you went, uh, went to this restaurant, you yeah. had some food? Yeah, well, I didn't eat anything because I'd been on a date earlier that evening. Do you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are kind of hard to keep up with, aren't you? I couldn't believe it. I asked her. But I said, it was fun. No, it was a lot of fun, but she surprised me. I looked, I said, you're not hungry. You went on a date already? Yeah. And I thought to myself, geez, I guess I didn't know if I was worth waiting for or something. Oh, yeah, but I didn't know that then. I, I didn't have a good date the first time, so I was uncertain, yeah. you know. No, so, yeah, what happened next? And After then, the um, we went to, um, a jacuzzi for... Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mark. That's okay. Uh, was, you want to defer listen, to Mark for this? Yeah, Mark, what did we do? <laughs> that, well, it was really getting kind of late, and um, we were trying to decide what we were going to do afterwards, and I had to make sure I wasn't going to infringe, because I didn't know if she had another date after 2 o'clock or not. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of a busy lady, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. No, but um, I thought we had a great time. Um, we did. I'm kind of anxious to see the audience pick for you, aren't you, yeah, this I time? Yeah, I too. Now, let's take a look and see. Okay. Okay. Well, the audience picked Michael. 53% they picked Michael. If you want to take their advice, we'll send you out on a date with Michael. Well, I'd like to go up in a hot air balloon next, so maybe I will. <laughs> Is that okay? Sure. You can do anything you want to do. I told you, I see a lot of people. That's true. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Mark. We'll see you later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You're a real work, <laughs> We have some nice gifts for you, and we're going to come right back with another couple in just a minute. Stay tuned. Is now KCBS TV. When your family name is 